I don't think anyone can resist her. Hi guys, hope you are doing well. I'm back with Spice and Wolf episode 10 review. At first we see Lawrence continue to ask for cash, and a shop owner throws him off his property, tossing a bag of money at him and telling him to scram. Lawrence returns to the inn and tells Hollow he needs 40 Lumion to reach his goal, planning to visit the gambling house to obtain it. He asks Hollow to hold on to the profit while he's away. Annoyed, Hollow and the inn owner watch as Lawrence leaves. Hollow throws the cash bag at Lawrence, telling him to return to the inn. Back at the inn, Hollow asks what he would have done if she fled with his money. Lawrence replies that he anticipated her leaving and didn't mind if she did. I was confused for a bit seeing Hollow angry, because she isn't someone dumb who can't understand the situation, but then it occurred to me that she isn't mad at Lawrence, but rather herself for putting Lawrence in such a tight spot, and honestly it melted my heart seeing her like that. We see Lawrence argue that if his mistakes with the two trading companies prevented him from fulfilling Hollow's desire to go north, he at least wanted to give her money so she could travel there alone. Hollow, frustrated, argues she's the one to blame for Lawrence's borrowing issue. Lawrence disagrees, angering Hollow. She almost tumbles out the window while trying to hit Lawrence with a chair, but Lawrence saves her. Hollow feels guilty for forcing Lawrence to let her tag along, believing he could have obtained loans from shop owners if not for her. Lawrence, feeling down for swatting Hollow's hand away earlier, explains his good-natured personality is just who he is. Hollow dislikes this answer and tells him what she expected. When they repeat the routine, Lawrence says it's because Hollow is special to him. Hollow laughs and suggests they argue more in the future, as it can sometimes resolve problems faster. I doubt Lawrence would go this far for someone else, and I think he knows it himself as well, but he just said those things without even giving them much thought. Also them fighting for each other's sake was really wholesome. Next we see Hollow whisper her death-solving plan to Lawrence. In the morning, they visit Mr. Ramirio. Lawrence proposes hiring someone to smuggle gold for him. Ramirio initially opposes the idea, but Lawrence convinces him by arguing the smuggler, who he alludes to be Nora, would prefer his offer due to a lack of strong ties with her current employer. Lawrence offers his current wealth as collateral and asks Ramirio to postpone the debt and lend him money for gold. Hollow adds that several people under Ramirio's company plan to leave, suggesting compliance with their plan is in his best interest. Ramirio agrees. After leaving, Lawrence and Hollow discuss their plan and Ramirio's decision. Although Hollow wants to help trick Nora, Lawrence insists on handling it himself. The smuggling part genuinely caught me off guard, and I would have never guessed it, because to me Lawrence is someone who likes doing things fairly, and stays away from shady methods. It's a great portrayal of circumstances making one do things that they would never do normally. This story showcases the realistic aspects of the real world so vividly that it always gives me goosebumps. Moving on we see Lawrence and Hollow see Nora leading the church. Lawrence asks Nora to join them at a table, offering her a job opportunity. He asks if she can take her sheep to Lamtra for 20 Lumion. He then asks if she plans to join this town's association. Nora says she intended to register at another town's association. Lawrence advises her to do so, suggesting it would be challenging to succeed in a town unfamiliar with her skills. He also speculates that Nora has issues with the church, arguing that they likely suspect her of having mystical powers and are sending her to dangerous areas other shepherds avoid due to their suspicions. Lawrence involving Nora in this was another surprising part, but it's logical because Nora is someone Lawrence just recently met, so there's no bond or attachment between them, and Nora will be benefiting from this too. Although it was funny to see Lawrence conning her. Then we see Lawrence tell Nora that the priest might send her to a dangerous location where wolves or mercenaries could harm her. He explains that if she works with them, she'll earn money, get into trouble with the church, and move to a different town. Lawrence plans to smuggle gold by hiding it under her sheep's bellies without being caught, knowing the gold prices in their town are high. He wants to get gold from Lamtra, confident that Nora can lead people there without arousing suspicion. After completing the task, they'll need to flee the town for safety. 
Nora thinks it over and accepts the offer. Later at the inn, Hollow notices Lawrence's confidence is still low. I just realized that Hollow didn't speak to Nora even once so far. It just shows that she really doesn't like shepherds, and to top it off she is a bit jealous of the way Lawrence treats Nora, even though Hollow knows how much she herself means to Lawrence. I find it rather cute and funny. At the end we see Lawrence is somewhat worried about the plan's success, Nora's payment, and her involvement. Hollow reassures him, arguing that Nora is bold enough to handle trouble. Lawrence hopes that everything will go smoothly and they can laugh about it afterward. They giggle together. I thought Nora is just a normal girl, but Hollow's words kinda imply that Nora might have some sort of powers just like the church suspects. I'm guessing this is probably another reason why Hollow avoids speaking with her, if that is the case then I wanna know where all this will lead the story to. Nonetheless, this was probably one of the best episodes so far. It had great character developments, and some nice plot progression. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.